Photographs reminiscent of X-ray pictures show the inner life of technical devices that were still modern a few years ago, but now outdated. Like a cassette recorder or a Super 8 projector. Max de Esteban of Spain took the pictures. He has a photo studio in Barcelona. He calls his latest photo series Proposition One. With my project, I want to show that the constant progress in technology can be simultaneously good and bad for art. My photos wouldn't have been possible if I didn't use the most modern cameras. On the other hand, I photograph technical equipment that is out of date. This shows how short-lived technology is today and how soon it becomes obsolete. This projector was made in the 1970s. For his special photos, Max de Esteban first took it apart. Then he sprayed the parts with white lacquer. He wanted all the parts to look as plain as possible. The white paint makes these devices symbols. They shouldn't have their original color or original structures anymore. I want to show their insides, their souls. I express that with white paint. Max de Esteban then arranges the disassembled piece of equipment, in this case the projector. First he photographs the front. The digital camera is connected with a colleague's notebook. The colleague sees the photos immediately and can check their sharpness. Then the projector is turned around and Max de Esteban photographs the rear side. Finally, he reassembles the piece of equipment, photographing each step. The projector has few parts, but Max de Esteban has taken apart, photographed, reassembled and again photographed devices with up to 50 parts. I'm actually an engineer and that helps. As an engineer, I'm curious and very interested in technology. I want to understand exactly how things are built and how they function. I really want to show the insides of a piece of equipment, and you can see that in my photos. Next, Max de Esteban processes the photos in his computer. He takes the best photos of the front, back, and covering. Then he superimposes all the pictures in several layers. Now he decides which of the individual cables, wheels and screws should be seen more and which less intensely. Here we see the first level of the picture. Now I'm laying a second image over it. So you see objects that overlay each other. Now I want to have this more beautifully and clearly. For example, I will make the thick cables in this spot in the back of the picture more transparent. I want the cables in the front to be clear, while you have only an inkling of those in the back. After a little color correction, the picture of the projector is complete. For a single photo of this kind, Max de Esteban works for two to three weeks. The processing on the computer is what takes most of the time. The entire series is currently on view in a gallery in New York. A print costs 3,000 euros. When people see my photos, they are astonished. They ask how I did it. They think they are really x-ray photos or maybe painted pictures made with ink or charcoal. Some even ask me whether I've built a huge machine that can look through the devices. I think it's great. Everyone is astonished. Max de Esteban, a photographer who makes technical devices transparent. His second proposition series is already in the making.